everyone welcome back again to spiritual growth tarot i'm denise and i'm going to check in on uh ivanka and jared javanki i don't know what to call them anymore but <laughs> i people are wanting to to check out again and uh, check in so that's what i'm gonna do so let me swap cameras out and bring you over my table and we'll see what's going on okay hold on Okay, so I'm going to use the Visions of Life Tarot by Taroka Studio again for uh, this couple. <laughs> the janky. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to do the same spread so that maybe you guys can remember a little bit, but I'll talk you through it as we go. So I'm wanting to know their past, present, the karma hanging over them and their future. But of course, as always, the forces in motion in their greatest challenge. They're, yeah, I don't see any reason to read them separately anymore. They do seem to be sticking together. And I think we can all guess what they're both guilty of. But only the truth. Let go of my mind, my bias, and only the truth. While I draw these cards. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Forces in motion. Greatest challenge. Past. Presently, the karma hanging over the two of them, and their future. For some reason they're all over here, two, oh, come on, three. Four, and I'll take the two off the bottom. Okay, come on. These cards are sadicky. All right, there's the karma. Oh, actually, I have to remember to bring these down a little. Okay. Past, present, interesting, and future. Yeah, this makes sense. Now, of course, I'll hold these cards up and show them right, wow, the right way around. Show them straight up as well. Okay, but getting it diving into the reading. Oh, and the ones at the bottom are really interesting. Whoa. Okay. So forces in motion, and remember these two cards have a big uh, influence over the rest of the spread. But we have the nine of swords reversed. I'm feeling like it's sorry, not sorry. The Nine of Swords reversed is our, you know, it's our nightmare. It's our uh, big test of moving forward. Uh, it's the dark night of the soul, right? You know, it's usually, it's usually the, uh, now it can just be sometimes a headache when it's straight up. But in this deck, uh, this is like, I get the feeling like the jester is not amused anymore. Look at the, like the eyebrows are off of the, the skull. <laughs> like, whoa! Um, but anyway, it came to reversed. So, so that meaning has everything to do with um, really kind of like avoiding others, I think, and facing some fears and feeling a little bit disgraced and having some major, you know, uh, disagreements with each other sometimes and they're struggling 
but I feel like they're uh, maybe they're avoiding being disgraced in a nutshell. But and that's the reason they've stepped away from. Uh, well, Jared wasn't in the country when January sixth happened, but Ivanka, even though she was there, I um, later on she. I, I really think that she gave it up with, um, well, we heard her on, on um, we all heard her on TV. Any of us that watched the January 6th hearings heard her say that she believed Bill Barr. And, um, you know, basically threw her dad under the bus. So that's how she's so-called, so Avoiding disgrace is what I'm going to say about that in quotes. And then here we have the um, <laughs> the biggest challenge here. We have the uh, the tower card. Now in this deck, you can see it's the you know the dude comes home and it looks like his wife is uh, getting it on with his attorney, and maybe it's the divorce attorney, right? But when this card comes through in the challenge position. I read it as a reversal, and I feel like they're they're acting like they're letting go, but they're not. And sometimes this card is an imprisonment card. So I feel like they're just avoiding the crisis, and they're avoiding losing. But they're not letting go of what they are. Right. I think I'll just leave it this way so you can see. Well, actually, this way. But remember, this is the tower card. Okay. All right. So, what they've done in the past or their past with the Ace of Cups reversed. So here it is straight up. It's contentment. What's she content in? <laughs> What's in the fridge? Boy, I can relate to that. But anyway, when it comes to uh, a reverse meaning, this is emptiness. This is why, oops, why we run to the fridge when we're, we're having emotional issues, you know, like we're eating our feelings. Well, you know, you never want to do that. It's not worth it. You know, well, you can try, but it doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, trust me, I have tried. I... It's uh, bad news and breakups when it's reversed. It's pain and emptiness. So they've, this I feel is uh, the, the breakup of, with her father. And with the Six of Swords straight up, now there's maybe some healing, some moving on. This is our transition card. The Six of Swords is um, oftentimes moving on and relocating, and sometimes it, it's about you know feeling some bit of a some bit of a healing and relief going on. So that's what they've done in the past. So they've flipped, and they're empty inside in relationship with him. I mean, of course they'd stick in it if they thought they could get get away with it. But I, I don't know. I think something broke inside of because I've been doing readings uh, on both of them for a long time and usually separately. And I did see you know a long, long time ago when I, I could tell for sure that Ivanka flipped on um, on Trump on her dad and that she was you know there was some disappointment and so that makes sense here. They're, they're, and they're not over it, or she, at least she's not over it. This might be a, more about her than uh, Jared. Presently, we have the hanged man here. I think I'll just leave it there because it's easy to see. Let me grab the chopstick. Um, tied to the family tree. Presently, feeling tied to the family tree. Now, this might be more about Jared, and it might be both of them, uh, because they're both just, you know, their reputations are trash. We know that. And with the um, Ace of Swords, isn't this interesting? To have this card be the Ace of Swords about financial decisions. Uh, but it came through reversed. So presently, there's dishonesty going on. There are lost opportunities coming through. You know, they, they really don't have any good ideas coming in. 
They've lost their head over money. And they're just hanging out wondering, what do we do in the past? Or what do we do in the future? Like Because what we've done in the past hasn't worked because they hitched their wagon to the, you know, well. Yeah. I believe we choose our parents. She chose her dad for some reason. So anyway, uh, what's hanging over both of them uh, karmically, the karma hanging over them that they're not going to get out from under, responsibility. This is the justice card in this deck. So there's that. And then we also have the Eight of Cups, which in this deck is indifference. But to me, it's a card of... Uh, you, well, at some point you are indifferent because you're, and you're having to walk away. But it came through reversed. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it's, they're avoiding the fear of change. They're avoiding a fear of loss. They're stagnant. And maybe some self-esteem issues are finally coming up to heal. But then again, do they deserve to have good self-esteem when they've just hitched their wagon to money? And we all know, we all know what uh, Jared is capable of. I feel like, you know, this is, this is probably more his karma because of MBS and Khashoggi, and then her karma because of the men she has hitched her wagon to. You know, we always marry our parents until we, um, until we heal those issues. That's why, uh, that's why it's normal for grown adults to go through divorces, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but it's even better <laughs> if, if we have great parents. Uh, it's even better if we do our healing work before we get married. But, you know, we don't. I didn't, anyway. I... Uh, Okay, so moving forward into the future, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is old age. This is sustainability, stabilization, um, you know, wealth, family wealth. Well, when it comes through reversed, I'm, I'm feeling like this is failure in that department. This is... Well, it's definitely a card. Now, with this being the future, even more so. And doesn't that look like her dad? Uh, this feels to me like even more separation going on in the family. Even more so, she's going to stay away from him. This is uh, like, you know, the card of family feuds. And it can sometimes be that, um, well, shoot, I, you know, I think Trump Org is probably losing everything. Hold on one second. I need to get some water. Be right back. Okay, that's better. So, um, yeah, uh, family feuds, losing money. These two, I mean, this looks to me like Trump when you kind of just glaze back, like maybe him on a good day. And this is the King of Swords. Their principles have been tied up. It, it puts your stomach in knots when you have no integrity. Right? But the King of Swords is uh, attorneys. Is the King of Swords has to do with... Um, it can be sometimes uh, about clear thinking and trying to get back to integrity. But I feel it's more like the truth is coming out. And uh, they don't want to be anywhere near it. This Nine of Pentacles, and this is normally like our luxury card. Remember the card in the Rider White Smith? It has the lady uh, focusing in on the falcon, and she's in uh, grapes, and uh, she's in a wall of abundance around her. Well, this is... That same card in this deck, it, which is, they're titling it Self-Sufficiency. So this has to do with an independent feminine force. But it came through reversed. So I don't feel like Ivanka is really, in her future, I don't feel like she has established herself as an independent woman. Otherwise, we might have the Queen of Swords straight up. I'm not seeing that here, right? With the Nine of Pentacles, 
reversed. This brings in uh, like reckless, you know, issues like reckless spending, problems with your money, and dependency on somebody else that makes the money. So I feel, you know, maybe that's why she's with Jared. Because we all know the googly eyes she gave to Justin Trudeau way back. <laughs> she's about coming out of her body there. Um, but, and it's also a card for lying about money. It's also a card of uh, going into debt, as can be the Six of Pentacles. But um, on another level, if this is just her, it's sometimes women who are jealous of other women and other people that have money. And sometimes it's a card of work, you know, being a workaholic. So I feel like it has to do more with her not being able to get away from the whole uh, dependency on men to, uh, she just, she's not there yet. And and I don't know if she'll, maybe she'll get, get it done this lifetime. She has a lot of young kids with her, um, well, they're getting older, but I mean, she can always do more shoes and hats and clothes and bags and coffins and voting machines. She, you know, she can try all that stuff, but I kind of feel like the Trump brand is just trash. And I doubt Kushner properties will, will be any better. And then here we have at the very, for the very last card, besides the tour at the bottom, we have the death card straight up. So there's big change coming through. And in this deck, you can see the big whoop upside the head. It's like, you know, the, um, uh, what do you call those things when you, oh God, the timer, you know, with the sand in it, the old, old timey timers, um, the hourglass type of a thing. But notice the pig in the money, right? So big changes are happening because there's problems with money in this deck anyway. Yeah. Father time is not going to be kind to them. Now what was at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. And this is, you know, normally the big betrayal card. This one's called Treachery. Look at those tombstones or whatever those are there and all those crosses from people that have died and look at that money that's behind his head I feel like this is speaking to Jared he's got his little hand in there in his coat like he's got it all figured out people have died on his watch and he doesn't care this is Khashoggi and Jared that's what this card's about the ten of swords is uh of course, betrayal, it's everything to do with um, failure, being backstabbed, big changes, big changes here, big changes here, painful endings and loss. And then um, we have the conformity card. So this is the fact that he is somebody's puppet. And she's, we can, we've already established here that she's dependent financially on Jared. She's not making it on her own. And I mean, I'm never going to fault a woman with three or four kids or whatever. I think they have three. Um, for taking care of her kids and then, but you know, her, her kids were young and she left and was, you know, at the White House the whole time. So let's, let's don't say she's a good mom. But when it comes to uh, you know raising your kids and then having your your uh, you know your own uh, business, then maybe she'll do that in the future. But for now, I can see she's been dependent on the men in her life. She's been trying to make it on her own, but she's just been just like uh, her brothers. They've been sucking off their dad their whole life with his you know Trump brand. Uh, and so this is why we have the conformity for her, but also for him, for, for uh, Jared. He's always just gone towards the money. Right? I mean, the, um, this is the Hierophant in the regular Rider-Waite-Smith. 
And um, it's all about their belief system. And they just believe in money as being the only thing that matters. And so they're committed to that. And those are their lack of morals. You can see the devil's horns there. Right? And in the old days, this looks to me like, you know, that should be the separation of church and state. Look at the cross up there. But there is no separation of church and state with this card. So, anyway. Okay. <laughs> That's it for these two. Thanks, you guys. I'm going to be back and do the other, um, the other two. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> It's okay. I'm drinking lots of water and letting go of all this because, and I'm nothing like these people, so they're, it doesn't stick. And it's not like I'm hanging out with them in my house. So don't worry about me, and I don't need to sage. I will be taking a shower afterwards, though. <laughs> okay. Bye.